Good morning, learners. Welcome to our today's lesson. Uh, we are serial measurements, and of course, uh, we are going further today. Our subtopic is length of uh, wire used and the strands. Now, we want to discuss something about uh, the number of strands in, uh, in this case. For example, how do we find the number of strands and, of course, the length of the wire? So we are going to go through examples first, so that now we understand on how we are going to get the number of strands and the length of the wire that uh, has been used. Now, I this triangular uh, garden meshes, example one. So let's go to examples first. Uh, so we have. Uh, IVs. IV is the name of a person. So IV is a plot of land measures. So the plot of land measures, it is a triangular and it measures 40 meters by, we have 60 meters. Um, 80 meters. So we are going to sketch this plot of land. It is a triangular. So let's assume it is uh, somehow like a, a right angle triangle. So let's uh, give this one to be 80 meters. And of course, we have uh, the 60 meters and the 40 meters. Now, the question comes in uh, that saying that uh, she fakes the garden. She fenced the garden using four strands. So she fenced, she fenced the garden using, uh, using four strands. Using four strands of uh, wire. Using four strands of wire, find the length of the wire she used. Find the length of the wire used. So, first step, our step number one. So, the first step, find the perimeter. Perimeter. Of that uh, garden, of that piece of land. So, our perimeter, this is a triangle, is of course side plus side plus side. So, the first side we have is 80 meters plus 60 plus 40. So, this give, uh, this give, uh, give us uh, 180. 180 meters. So the first step, we have now the perimeter of this plot of land, which is 180. Then the number of strands, we are saying the number of strands now is our next step. So step number two, second step is uh, strands now. So for us to find the strand, for one complete strand, it covers 180 meters. For, so this person used four strands. He used four strands. So we are going to take one strand, which is 180, multiply by four, and that is zero, that is two, and that is seven, 120 meters. So we have the total length of the wire used is 720 meters. Then, of course, the number of strands is four. Uh, example number two. Example number two. Uh, we have this figure here. Example two. We have this figure. The question says, uh, 
were planted on the two lines at intervals of 20 centimeter on the figure below, how many flower bushes were planted? So example two, the same bushes were planted on both both sides of the figure below. Find the first find the distance and the number of bushes used. So the figure looks like this, like a semicircle. Then there is another semicircle, a uh, smaller one, like that. So we have this distance is uh, we have seven meters. That is from that end to that. Then from there up to the center we have 21 meters. So the flowers, the question says bushes were planted on both sides, both sides of this figure. So what we need to do first, we find the distance or we find the perimeter of uh, this figure. So we have the semicircle, the bigger semicircle, that is from there all the way up to there. We have this distance, we have this, then we have this semicircle again. So we can't combine the two semicircles, we work out separately. So the first semicircle, the bigger one, we are going to say half. Uh, that is uh, that is pi b, then uh, plus a half again uh, pi b, then plus we have this distance and this distance. That is seven. That is seven plus fourteen. Uh, that is plus fourteen. So the first semicircle, uh, our pi is twenty two over seven. The bigger semicircle, the diameter. We are going to connect like this. From there to there is 7, then plus 21. That becomes uh, 28. Of course, then we are going to add another 28. So, meaning the diameter for the bigger semicircle is 56. Then plus a half, 22 over 7. Now, the smaller semicircle. Our diameter is 42. We start from there. Diameter 42. Then plus now the 14. So 2, 1, 2, 11, 7, 1, 7, 8. You have 88. 88 plus 2, 1, 11, 6. You have 66. Then plus uh, now 14. So we are looking at uh, the distance down this figure before we go to now uh, how many number of bushes are we going to, to use, uh, are we going to plant of course uh, around this figure. So we have 88 and 66, 14, 15, then 14, 8, uh, 6, 1. So we have the distance is 1. 68 meters. Now, on both sides of the below, find the distance and the number of bushes uh, used. Now, what we need to do, uh, we need to be given the intervals, that is from one bush uh, to the other. For example, you plant the first bush there, then the next bush there. Now, the interval, it is the space between the two, or sometimes we are arranging stones. Look at this figure, we are arranging stones. So from the first stone to the other stone, the distance between the two stones or the two bushes, it is called the interval. 
interval. So the interval between now these two bushes, we are saying uh, the interval is two uh, meters. So meaning we are going to take now the distance, then we divide by the interval, which is two meters. And there is eight, and there is uh, four. So the number of bushes that we are going to use planting around this figure is going to be 84 uh, bushes. Our third example and the last one. the Kenya Power. So strip light company used for used for used 400 uh, and two electric poles 402 electric poles uh, on both sides of on both, on both, on both sides of Nyali Road. Nyali, on, that is on Nyali Road, at an interval. At an interval of fifteen. Meters at an interval of 15 meters. Now the question is find find the distance of the road. Find the distance of the road. Now let's uh, read the question again. We have this street light company that is. Uh, Used 402 electric poles that is on both sides of the road, that is the Nyali road, and the interval that is from one pole to the other pole is 15 meters. Find the distance of the road. Remember, it is 402 electric poles, and this 400 is on both sides, so it means we are going to take 402. We divide by 2. And that is uh, 201. So we have 201 pole that is on one side of that road. So for us to find out the distance, distance is the number of, remember these are poles along the road. So we are going to take the number of poles minus 1. We are going to get the number of intervals. For us to get the distance, we are going to take the number of poles, this is 201, then minus 1. For us to get the number of intervals, which should be 200, then we multiply by the interval. That is from one pole to the other one, which is 15 meters. So meaning we have 3,000, that is meters. If it is a conversion into, uh, for example, now we can finalize and say your answer should be in kilometers. So divide by 1,000 and of course this is 3 kilometers. So learners, I want you to note something. Remember these poles, the 402, that are on both sides of the road. 
So we divide by two, the reason, so that we can get one side of that rod. And again, for us now to find, these are number of holes. These are not intervals. Because when you talk of intervals, when you have three holes, like that, the number of intervals is two. That is the reason we are taking the 201 minus one for us to get the number, uh, sorry, the number of intervals. So an example if you have 201, for us to get the number of uh, intervals, we subtract one from there. Just as I've shown you an example, three poles, two intervals. So now the distance of this road is three kilometers. So for, for more examples, of course, you can uh, go through your books, that is to get more examples. And of course, uh, I will uh, give assignment uh, on uh, this work uh, on a later time. So thank you for the listening and my God bless you.